Welcome back to SB Life Solo. Today I'll be taking you through the steps to do a proper IMO1. For those that don't know, IMO is a KNF input that uses indigenous microorganisms to help rebuild your soil structure and quality, all while staying completely natural. The IMOs work with your soil food web and provide the best living home for microbiology, and in return, whatever you plant into that area will be greatly affected with not only increased growth, yield, but also stress tolerance. When we gather these IMOs, it is important to use a local source as they will already be acclimated to your natural soil and when introduced to your garden, they will be the powerhouse fungi and bacteria that will keep your growing area of very high quality without any need for any pre-bought fertilizers or plant feeds. Now, there are different types of IMOs you can collect from different surroundings and for the cannabis garden, we are going to want to collect IMOs from a local forest as they will contain a more fungal dominant presence than a grassland area which will have a more heavy bacteria presence. Both are great uses but having a more fungal dominant soil provide huge benefits to your cannabis plants and how they grow. So to begin, you're going to want to make a box out of wood. You can use any type of wood that's easiest to source, but cedar and bamboo are always great options to attract IMOs. I made a box out of redwood, which I had left over from a separate project. So this is gonna be a good size. You can use any size though. And uh, again, any wood will work perfect. Now, a key tip is to also drill some holes in the bottom of the box small enough to where bugs won't fit, but you can still get some airflow from the bottom. Next, we are going to want to take a carbohydrate source, such as rice, and cook it so it's cooked but hard and not mushy. This will be what attracts your IMO, so you want it to be hard enough where it still has aeration. I usually do about one cup of rice to one cup of water. Cooking this for about 15 minutes will have you perfect rice. Now you can also save your rice wash for another KNF input which we'll get into later. So for now just keep it for the side. Once your rice is done you can go ahead and fill your container up about halfway or two-thirds of the way depending on the amount of rice and size of your container. This was not enough so I actually had to go and make another cup. With your rice at an even layer, just cover this with a paper towel and attach it to your box, either using staples or any other method that you can think of. With this, you have your completed IMO trap that hopefully we will go and get some good samples from. Okay, so we are gonna take this and go to the forest and find a great spot to leave and we will check back in a couple days and see what we get. So, we'll see you there. If you're trying to locate a good spot to put your box, I highly recommend looking for an old tree near some water. Now, what you're going to look for when you want to place your box or your trap is a lot of this white material. You're gonna actually want to put this on top and bury it around an area where you see lots of vegetative growth. We're gonna bury this and uh, come back and check on it in a couple days. I found an area with lots of mycelium growth and worms. So you know this is some great soil to be near. You can see all the white. I went ahead, oh, see if zoom in. I went ahead and stuck some mycelated wood, soil, rock, and leaves, and then took some sticks and just covered that. And now I'm going to take some leaves and cover this up completely. And then I will come back and check in seven days and see what we got.